Hello, everybody. This is the absolute first episode of Let's Get Crystal Clear. And I actually had this plan for after the top of the year, but after seeing Ohm's uh, season finale, the explosive season finale of Ready to Love, we had to have my girl Reva here in before the year ends to talk about what happened on Ready to Love. Now, I'm going to let you explain exactly what happened. If you haven't seen the season finale, there's two parts to it. There was a, a, a upset yes. at the last minute <laughs> that no one was expecting. But Reva, I'll let you kind of bring anyone who hasn't, which I'm sure you have. Um, Black Twitter was very, very involved in the conversation. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't see the episode, can you kind of explain to us what happened on the, epi on the, f the season finale? Okay, well, um, actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I let me let me let me say this first because the first episode was mainly it was gearing up you know uh, throughout the season there was this thing the friend versus associate mm -hmm. with Tanya and I okay so that was um, I know the big thing for us and that's something mm -hmm. that I really wanted to address here okay so 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 before so there were two two young ladies two two of you all were actually all the guys and girls mm -hmm. kind of picked who they were interested in right. Yes. And then you and a girl that you were familiar with, the, 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 the question was, were you all friends or were you just associates? Yes. You and Tandy happened to both be interested in the same man. Correct. Okay, go. Yes. So um, we, I, I met Tandy. I met Tandy five years ago through a mutual friend. Okay. Okay. Tandy and I had like zero dealings during that time. We've never had a phone conversation mm -hmm. during that time. Uh, we've never like hit each other up like, hey, let's hang out. I think I saw her maybe three times out in the club where I see everybody else from Atlanta. And it's like, oh, hey, girl, hey, girl. We kept it moving. All right. Okay. In five years. That's five all. years. That's okay. it. OK, <clears throat> so um, do you guys have friends? Forward, in, you guys have friends in common. We have one in common. Well, they're not even. But the girl who introduced us, that was the one friend. Right. OK. okay. okay. So fast forward now to we're at the mansion. Everybody's mingling and meeting each other, mm -hmm. right? First day filming for Ready to Love, um, and all the castmates are meeting each other. I see Tandy, and her and I speak like, hey, hey, because, of course, we don't talk. Mm -hmm. We had no idea that, you know, we were going to be there. Okay. Um, and then even after that, there was no talk even, like, I know Divine and I became close, so we spoke a lot, you know, okay. after filming, like, girl, what you think about this? Okay. And, you know, who you like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Tandy and I, no conversation. Tandy made it very clear of the people that she knew, um, you know, there, which was uh, Jimmy, mm -hmm. and then she mentioned that she knew Divine and that she dated Carrie. Okay. No, no mention of Reva, right? Okay. Now, fast forward to, um, there was like a few weeks left in filming. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then all of a sudden, I know Reva, Reva's my friend. I've known her for five years. Once she knew Mario had interest in me. Now, Reva's my friend for five years. I didn't, I didn't know. Someone asked me like, oh, you know, Tanya? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I met her through a mutual friend, you know, um, okay. some years ago when I first moved to Atlanta. Okay. Okay. So now it's like, you know, it's like, well, you know, to Mario, it's like, well, you know, we can't, you can't homie hop. That's my homegirl. You shouldn't pursue her. And then it was the same thing to me. Like, well, as a friend, you know that he and I are vibing, so you should step back. And it's like, she wait said a that minute. To you. She, yes, she okay. said that to me in the cabin episode. I don't know if you saw it, mm -hmm. but there, you know, the cabin episode, you know, she was basically saying, you know, well, I'm loyal and you should step back because you know that he and I, you know, are, are vibing. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. No, you know, you're an associate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's not as now at this point, everyone here, all the castmates are associates at this point and right. everyone's dating everyone. One. Okay. So I didn't understand why she was so adamant at that time mm -hmm. about saying that, you know, no, we're friends. You now, know? she mentioned that you guys, that your daughters, you wanted your daughters to do some type of event together. Okay. So about over four years ago, mm -hmm. it was about maybe four years ago, I was doing a mother daughter um, brunch. Okay. It's called Queens Raising Queens. Mm -hmm. So I know that her daughter was about the same age as my daughter because mm -hmm. we met, you know, we talked about it or whatever. Um, and there was about six other, five, five or six other mothers with their daughters. And that's what we do was a brunch. Okay. So it was one of those type things, you okay. know, but it wasn't a like, hey girl, let's, you know, nothing. So, so, our daughters never met. She didn't even go to the brunch. Like our daughters never oh, met. So she didn't come. Okay. Right. So it wasn't, that, so that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Right. Now what about the, the, the boyfriend or someone that she was involved with that you put hearts under his page? Okay. So there was a guy that um you know he came in my dm and it was just mm -hmm. a, like a good morning and you know oh good morning have a mm -hmm. good day type mm -hmm. situation he put a heart under well he put like 
three hearts under different pictures. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I just went back and I put three hearts under his pictures. Okay. Again, her and I don't talk. But did you know that they were dating? No. Okay. No, not at that time. Her and I don't talk. Okay. Right. So I'm not, I think she may have said something to our mutual friend because our mutual friend, she didn't follow the guy she didn't know or whatever. Mm -hmm. So one day a mutual friend and I were just talking, okay. you know, whatever. And she mentioned it or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I said, well, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want him or nothing. It's not nothing like that, you mm -hmm. know, whatever. She was like, well, yeah, you know, they've been seeing it. Tandy, however, has never said anything to me. We do not talk. She got these okay. people fooled. We okay. do not talk. So she said so she said to she the confronted girl. me. Okay. But she's never, not until we were on camera at the cabin. But she probably said something to the mutual friend and the mutual friend said something to you. Well, she was like, did you know that they talk? And she said something about putting, okay. I was like, yeah, I said, no, but that's not the situation with he and I. Okay. And it wasn't, you right. know what I'm saying? But well, he probably, I mean, I don't know if you've seen Reba's pictures. She's got an amazing, a lot of really hot pictures on Instagram. I'm sure lots of guys put hearts under your page, but if a guy's in your DM saying he's probably trying to holler. Trying yeah. To holler. But, right. but I mean, let's be fair. The, I don't, I really didn't know this girl. Right. So right. had, had we been friends and mm -hmm. I've known her for very well for five years, as she said, then I would have right. known, I would have known that this was her guy and, and, you know, and just, you know, yeah. but no, we, we were never friends. We did not talk. So that's what I'm saying. So, okay. but the thing is when you say this to people and you know, social media is like in an uproar and like, oh, she's a snake and she's a this, she's a that. Mm -hmm. No, sweetie, if you, if, if we, Everybody that we met in Atlanta, mm -hmm. everybody be single. Like if it, if that was that's the case, true. like true. it's not a. That's true. And you're on the show. You're on the show to date, to date guys. I think I do think that different people call friend different things. I don't know if you guys went out of the country together. If no, I we did out, not. Did, that we was did a not. Lie. Okay, no. so that was a lie. No, we did not. Okay, so we can move past that because I don't think that most people were. Maybe some people were upset. I, I think that when you're on a dating show yeah. and you know that everybody is going to be dating, the yeah. idea that you guys may have been familiar at one time, really, you shouldn't have been it wasn't called even out familiar is what I'm saying. Just because you are introduced to someone mm -hmm. and you meet someone, we was at the mutual friend's birthday dinner. Okay. So all the girls, everybody, you know, we, right. we all, now, now had we even had conversations and even if it just never, I mean, you know, like, like, Hey girl, let's link, you mm -hmm. know, never anything like never, that. Never so you can't link. say, and again, why didn't you say I've known Reva for five years when you mentioned everyone else, you know, in the beginning of the journey, okay. you're going to wait until you know, Mario's interested. And right. now you understand and right. e even still now it's like you're on your social media, uh, you're on your lives for two and three hours mm -hmm. talking about Reva. Okay. I don't, her name don't come out of my mouth. Okay. You understand? All right. So we, we moved past the friend part. Let's okay. say you guys were Not associates friends. or whatever you were. You guys are dating on the show. Both of you guys, from what the viewers saw, yeah. both of you guys had somewhat of a connection with Mario, Mario. who is here, but not on camera, <laughs> which is a solid, they have a concerted solid, they're, they're holding each other down. That's awesome. Period. So Mario had a connection from what we saw with both people. You seemed a little hesitant to really just let your guard all the way down from mm -hmm. what we saw, mm -hmm. right? So why did you, why did you choose to self eliminate? Because you know, when you come into the dating show on right. that show, right. everybody's going to be dating back and forth. Right, what, right, what made you make the decision to self eliminate? Okay. So here's the thing. I was not ready for like, it was, it, it seemed cool and something fun and it was different for me. I've been okay. divorced for 12 years. Okay. So my friend's like, yo, you need to try something different. Mm -hmm. I've never even done online dating. Okay. So, you know, I did step out my box and then when I got there, it was just like, what are you doing? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Now I, I am not the type of woman who, you know, just, just be like, Hey, you know, I don't I, like, I can like a guy mm -hmm. and I can, look at him and look away. If he look at me, I will not say nothing. That's right. the only time I'm shy when it comes to guys. Okay. But my guard was up because initially, I don't know if you remember, um, in the pool scene, mm -hmm. Mario and I had a bit of a connection there. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, you know, it's like, I, I, I it, it's not just he and I here, but right. I wasn't the whole day. I just wasn't ready for that. So okay. yeah, he has to talk to other people. I get that. Mm -hmm. But for me, that's when I was like, yeah, no, let's bring yeah. it in. Yeah. And I just, you know, he's telling me I need to see more. I'm telling him I need to see more. And I just, at that point, I was just like, yeah, I think I'm just gonna, yeah. because I know that what's for me, it is for me. Okay. I, I totally, I totally believe in that. And I did put myself in a posture you know, to be in here dating these different guys and mm -hmm. stuff. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna front. I just wasn't ready. I was right. just like, this isn't for me. You did know you I mean? feel where you, did it feel uncomfortable for you to see him interacting with other women? Um, 
a tad bit. It wasn't like a um, like a oh why I'm jealous or why he doing that. I even told him even when I left, I wished him well on their journey. Mm -hmm. You know, um, because you know that's just me. I like I right. said, if, if it's for me, it'll be for me. I'm not. I'm not. I've never been the um, insecure type woman. Right. It's just that that just. It was a lot. It was a lot. It, it looked so like overwhelming. It was, a lot. it was so overwhelming. It looked so. like it was a lot. Now, yeah. this this is where I got lost because I understood that yeah. I can totally I could totally relate to you up until the finale. I would probably have done the same thing. I'm not going to be playing these games or grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do that? Do that. Right. Did you self eliminate thinking that you guys were going to continue to talk off camera or were you seriously? Oh no no no. Yeah, no, no, no. I was, I was, like, you know, as I said, Mario and I had no dealings. No dealings. Okay. So that's why I was so confused in the finale because your energy was just different. And, and the, you know, let me explain why it was different. Mm -hmm. It was different because, you know, it, like through the season, I was, I kept it classy. I was right. chill. Right. It so wasn't until. So when you came until, back and said the best woman won and all that, I was like, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So it wasn't until I saw the episodes and her interviews behind the scenes okay. where, you know, it was all the jabs and, and she said that. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a, it's, it's never been a competition for me, but okay. she did say, uh, may the best woman win. And she even put up the little memes for it and stuff like that okay. and, and and I even they didn't air this but we had an actual girls thing where we had like massages and stuff mm -hmm. and I even said to her we were sitting next to each other on the couch and I and she said something I said well Tandy it's not a competition for me right and she was like well it kind of is I said no it's not you mm -hmm. don't compete for love right I don't compete right you know not not for that you know what I'm saying right. and yeah so that that's what if, if it was a competition mm -hmm. it, it would have went completely different okay you know? Okay, so so you were responding, you were just upset because of everything you had said. That, that she had said, and I didn't know what was being said, because okay. you would, she would show up to the wine bar, like before we film, hug me, hey doll, and mm -hmm. da da da, mm -hmm. then go write in your interview and make up all these stories and, all, mm -hmm. and throw all these jabs. And it was like, oh, okay, so once I saw that, mm -hmm. then in my mind, I'm like, okay, that's what we're doing then, you know what right. I'm saying? But even still, I don't, I felt like I carried myself well, you right. know? Um, but a lot of people aren't, aren't you know, they, they were coming at, at Mario a lot as well. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you know, it's a lot of hurt women <laughs> out there. Well, well no, no. let me just say, in, in everybody's defense, I don't think you guys are, are you, you all are experienced it, so you know a lot more than we do, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's wrong for anybody to fall, to, to have feelings for somebody. Both right. of you guys liked him, you know, it makes sense. He, right. I thought he carried himself, I thought out of all the couples on there, you all carried yourself the best the entire season, just my honest opinion. So I, I thought he was very respectful. It was obvious he didn't want to hurt either one of right, you. Right. So to see him come and turn and be so almost like you guys set her up to hurt her was a little bit disappointing. I that get was. it. But see, that's the thing, you know, and, and I'm sure as you know, as a viewer, it's mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. that's not seen right. or that's being said. And then Mario is the type of man, like he really is a gentleman. It's right. so much he could have said right. and people would have understood. Right. But he's not trying to put her out there like right. that. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So there was a lot of, you know, so it, it was, trust me, if you if, if everybody right. knew right. the backstory, then they would be like, oh, they handled that very well. Okay, you know what so, I mean? why, so, so tell us what, after the cameras were off, because all mm -hmm. we know is we see the two of them, right. we see him giving her a ring, we see him, you know, them deciding they're going to work towards it. I don't think that anybody really thought they had a lot of chemistry. Mm -hmm. It didn't seem that way, like they really fit as a couple. Yeah. Um, so I wasn't surprised they weren't together. I was just surprised to see the energy from you all the way you did. And, mm -hmm. it, and she was obviously very hurt. So regardless of, and I will say this too, I don't, watching the show, I did not think that she talked bad about you. I just thought she said, we were friends. You guys didn't agree on that. You didn't look bad. She didn't look bad. It looked like two, guys, two girls just like the same guy. And they have a different experience <laughs> on how they're friends, right? Because I may see, a, I, there are a lot of people who think they're friends with me. I may not think they're my friend. Yeah. But that isn't something to be hateful to somebody about. Yeah. Oh, I don't feel like I was hateful, though. I feel like the way it happened with him switching, switching sides and, and her not knowing, mm -hmm. and then the audience, I mean, they set it up to where it, it was a huge upset. So you could see if you were on the other side of that, how that may have felt. So okay. take us from the time that we, the show went off, mm -hmm. the season finale, I said, mm -hmm. the, and, and then to where we come back to the reunion, what happened? Okay, so before that, the the him getting off the cat there was a lot said in between there, right. of course. Right. That was, edited out. So it wasn't just a, like a, like there was like a whole, 
it was it was a, it was a lot said, and right. it wasn't like a and that was and also and what was also said was before that he'd apologized to her on three different occasions, right. even right after the reunion, mm -hmm. she's forgiven him. Right. So now that it's been aired, mm -hmm. then now it's you understand Back, what I'm right. saying, and right. I get it. You know, right. it's you know. Well, they edited it to look really messed up. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So tell us what what happened because we hear this is just what the viewers hear. We hear he and Tondi are together. They go on vacation. And then they cut it off and then a couple of days later he calls you and then you guys are all of us in a couple so mm -hmm. how, walk okay. us through that okay so he and Tandy after the reunion they did or not the reunion but after uh the, the, finale. the finale he and Tandy did decide that okay well let's see where this goes right um it didn't go far right and, and I mean as adults <laughs> you have to you have to know what you want you know he what I'm saying was very so like what that. he said I'm too old to just you know what I'm saying you know right and I mean and that's what it was but it was like it wasn't no it wasn't no beef it was like okay right. it didn't you know it didn't work out you know whatever so like you said people this is what people do in their day-to-day -day anyway they yes. date somebody it doesn't right. work out they date someone else mm -hmm. I think for for us or for me the big hoopla was well she's supposed to be her friend so she's a snake and she's a this and she's a that mm. yeah so 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 <clears throat> that that was the big thing but as far as that it didn't work out it's right. not it's a freaking dating show so it, it and I, I think people would if some people that are actually that actually watch the show he did always carry himself a certain way mm -hmm. so I don't see him being hateful to her that's mm -hmm. why it was so shocking that he would do you that you feel like he was hateful to her it it, the way it was edited looked kind of hateful. It looked like, okay. you know, it looked like a slap in the face. And I'm thinking, I, take away anything that she's, I don't know, we don't know the story. Yeah. All we know is she liked him. It seemed like he liked her. Yeah. And now all of a sudden he's like, uh, surprise, I'm over here with her. You know, and you're like, the best woman wanted, she just looked really hurt. Okay, and let, let me say something else. And I, I'm probably gonna get fussed after, but let me say this. <laughs> so, so Mario and I, we did have a conversation, mm -hmm. and you know how we were, you know, gonna go about this. Initially, we wasn't gonna even mention us, okay. honestly. Okay. okay. So, um, but that's I, not fair either. I mean, that's not that's not fair. Well, either. no. Well, and yeah. I get it. You know, production was like, no, that's what the show yeah. is about, and yeah. it wasn't that we weren't because we're proud to have each other. It yeah. was. It wasn't that, but it was. I think we were just to a point. We was like, we just ready for this to be over with, right. honestly. But. Um, but then at the same time, like nobody really wants to hurt anybody. I'm just right. going to keep it 100. Okay. So yeah, production was like, well, no, you guys should say something because mm -hmm. that's what the show is about. We right. want people to know it work, mm -hmm. you know, blah, blah, It makes great ratings. <laughs> it makes great ratings. Okay. What, what did so, Mario say to you when he calls you after he and Tani have broken up? What caused you to say, you know what, let me give this a chance. And then you guys to get to the place that you're at today. Okay, so um, yeah, I mean, when well, we talked, you know, over the phone, eventually, you know, we linked. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, because, you know, we didn't, we still on the show, because we hadn't hung out at all. Mm -hmm. we, we had just started talking, because we didn't even talk, you know what I'm saying, after that. So in my mind, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I'm not even sure. Do we do we really, really like each other? Mm -hmm. You know, okay, well, well, let's just explore this and see if nothing else we can catch up. Right. This is, this is how I'm thinking. Okay. Um, we did. We we got together, and when I tell you, we had an amazing time. We was just like in his living room, like mm -hmm. you know, you know, we sipping wine. We stepped in the name of love. We slow danced, <laughs> and it was just a great time. It, I, I I didn't expect it because we didn't have that on the show, honestly. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you know, you probably could so let I, your guard down a little bit. More I, I, I I did. You know, Makes so sense. our connection was amazing. Like after there were no cameras and no. And we've been inseparable ever since. Wow. Like our families just, you know, his family came down and our families and kids and we all spent Christmas together. Mm -hmm. And it's just been great. And a lot of people don't know that reunion was filmed months ago. Right, 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 right. You know, but. Um, so everything is great. Everything. I love that man. Uh, everything is well, great. Well, that's what was supposed to happen. That's yeah. what was supposed to happen. Um, anything that you would have done different in the journey? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Um, well, for one, uh, you know, knowing what I know now, I mm -hmm. would have definitely let my guard down and yeah. been more open mm -hmm. and then it wouldn't be none of this, you know, um, right. but I, I think that everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you just have to take it for what it's worth. You have to make the best of it. Yeah. And, and that's what we're doing. Yeah. That we're living our life and we're loving it, you know, and, and I, I personally, I regret how the reunion went. I right. will say that, right. you know, and he and he's regretted it too, and right. he's apologized, you right. know. 
I regret that. I regret letting production get in our head because, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll say it, they didn't want Tandy to be, uh, they didn't want Tandy to know because right. they was afraid she wouldn't come to the reunion. Right. And then it was almost like. And I like, think that was probably the biggest thing because it's like. That was the biggest thing. Blindside her. That like was the that? biggest thing. That was really mean. Um, that was really mean. <laughs> that, <laughs> Which that, is why was, I don't think people but, should date on TV. But, but yeah. So that. It worked for us. I mean, right. it, 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 it was, you know. It's the thing that got you the love that you, but, that you guys were looking for. I mean, we're here. And yeah, I, I'm sure everyone has, you know, yeah, it's always regrets. A story. And but that's all a part of our testimony. And like mm -hmm. I said, we're here and we're happy. Yeah. And wow. Yeah. So and and I think that people, you know, anything that's real will last beyond what's going on right oh, now. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, I'm glad to hear. I think for me, I I hate to see women because we live in Atlanta, and in Atlanta there's all these different women single beautiful career driven right, right. women that are amazing right. and they're all vying for a very small pool of yeah. eligible bachelors so to see us fight each other sometimes i think sets a negative narrative yeah so it does. that that was my own concern if you guys found love i'm happy for you it was obvious that you guys had a connection during the show yeah. that's got to be a very difficult terrain to kind of navigate mm -hmm. um but i think when women start going at each other that's 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 when we kind of no lose. I completely agree and, but crystal like here's the thing like I that was never my intent when right. I tell you that was just from seeing things mm -hmm. throughout the season and right. it, it kind of you know built mm -hmm. and so when we were at the reunion and it was just like I, I can't I, I'll let you shine or do what you do but I can't allow you to just go on TV and lie on me I'm not right. I can't I cannot right. I'm not I'm not gonna allow that so if I have to set the record straight mm -hmm. I'm gonna set the record straight as you should know as you should you know as and that's should. it so yeah and we're not gonna edit it so everything that anything else that you want to get out feel free to get out we're gonna make sure this runs because I think that editing is what causes you right. know which it makes great TV <laughs> but right, it's also but, what yeah. causes people to assume certain things. yeah no we like it well any so. any couple any other couple on the show that you guys are really rooting for. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, Divine in London, of course. You know Divine. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Are you? Why? Yeah. I just am surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really yeah. surprised to hear you say that. I mean, they're great people. They right. are. You know, they're great people. Um, love Divine to death. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're actually good together. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely rooting for them. Yeah. Okay. What about the couple that just connected Aisha and Mike, yeah. Aisha and Mike, yeah. I, I, I'm rooting for them. Yeah. I like them. They yeah. were cute. They are. They seem really super genuine. Yeah. And I, I will say you guys seem very genuine here. And I think watching you throughout the season, yeah. you both seem very genuine. It just, it, it did obviously cause um, the rating spike that they wanted <laughs> by kind of pitting you all against each other. But hopefully... Um, one of the things I, I liked a lot was seeing Divine and Alexis, Alexis come yeah. together and yeah. say that. I yeah. thought that was, I was like, okay, good. I did so too. That I, was, I did that was yeah. good, because like I'm saying, we just, we can't be fighting over yeah. these dudes. We, we can't do that. That's, I don't fight over no we man. Can't do I, that, that was about me. <laughs> right. That was right. about me. That was it. You right. know, I don't, I don't, I don't go around here like that's, that, that was completely about me. I had to address the lies and that was right. it. You know, can't fault you for that. What's next for you and Mario? <laughs> Um, listen, we're just going to love on each other. We're mm -hmm. just going to love on each other. You know, I know that God is our foundation mm -hmm. and that's what, let me say something. So, um, my comments are off right now because people, <laughs> they, they are off right now. Right. And that, and that's strictly because first of all, I mean, if you, if you want to be evil or hate or have your opinions and it's nasty, mm -hmm. then you can take that to someone else's page. Right. But mine will remain off. Like, I'm not, I don't have time to keep going on my page blocking people, you know, because they're calling me foul names. Like, mm -hmm. I have control over that. So right. I'm not, that's, that'll be dumb to allow people to come on my page. I'm not going to do that. So right. for the people that were wondering why you got your comments off, that's why. Y'all are rude. <laughs> well, I, now, one thing you did say, you said, you mentioned that there, I think a lot of, I don't, I, people are always rude from behind a, a keyboard or on their phone. Period. Yeah. But I do think there are a lot of women that are in that situation. There I've been in that situation. Right. Well, we what they have. think that I did. Right. But well, everybody's been in a situation where a guy picks someone else. Yeah. And and we will continue to be until you find the right one. So I think people are reacting off of seeing that handled mm -hmm. so coldly, mm -hmm. right? So is there anything that you could say cuz I think women 
are reacting. I was telling some of the cast last year, mm -hmm. people watching that show are seeing themselves in that yeah. place. They're yeah. seeing themselves going through those similar situations. It really is the reality of dating, especially here in Atlanta. So what advice would you give women that are dating and haven't found their Mario, mm -hmm. um, and you're dating someone that is dating other other people, and you're hopefully dating other people as well. It seemed like the women picked men real quick, and the dudes kind of kept their options open. Ladies, they we did keep it open they longer. Did. That's caused um, the whole thing. Well, and then too, you you have to. I know for me, I like what I like. Right. right. So so I, it, that was hard for me. And that's yeah. why I was on the bubble, because they're like, you know, we're not getting enough from Reebok. We don't even know if she's right. interested. Like, what? It, you know what I mean? But so I, I can't really say because I'll, I, I, I've never dated multiple people ever right. in my life. You know what <laughs> no, I mean? No, I get so it. That's the women and men. That's I wish I could. You right. know what I mean? But I, I can't. You know, right. I, I'll meet somebody and I like and, and then if they're dating other people, then, you know, that's an issue for me. That's probably why. <laughs> We're back to writing love. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. And then I got to self-eliminate myself. But no, um, I, I can't speak on that or how to handle that because What, what advice would you give them just in dating, period? I mean, you've obviously... Okay, been so, um, I mean, we're all dopes. We're all grown. You know what you want. But for me, um, I always pray to God, order my steps. Mm -hmm. So, because it's so easy to get caught up in, you know yeah. what I mean, things that don't really matter. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, for me, you know, like I said in my in my interview, like I, I, I need some of that loyalty. I need to, I don't, you know, you can't get caught up in what the guy has or what he's doing for this girl or for that girl. You know what I mean? So the, I, God is my foundation. So that that's what I go by. That's what right. I, you know what I mean? Right. Good, good advice. <laughs> good advice. One of the things I remember you guys said that you got, you both have grandkids. Yeah. You both don't look like grandparents, <laughs> but it's Atlanta. <laughs> That's how it goes here. So you guys both have that. Some other things in common as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So so my um, well, I actually have another one on the way. So I have two. Oh, wow. I'm a G ma. So I have two <laughs> and one on the way. And Mario has a grandson. Um, and then our daughters are uh, about the same age Very too. Nice. So um, we're just in the same place where we're we're good on the on the kids stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying. We right. just want to spend time with our grown kids and our grandbabies mm -hmm. and you know. And um, we're both big on family. Yeah. And we want to just enjoy life, travel, and just live now. You know what yeah. I mean? So that's where we're at. Just yeah. synced up. You guys seem right together. So I'm going to wish you guys much success. Thank you. Um, I'm glad you came to kind of air it out. Good to yeah. hear that it wasn't what it appeared to look like. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. And, you know, just, just keep living and keep loving. Eventually, the people will come around. And if they don't, it's okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Again, this is the very first episode of Let's Get Crystal Clear. We definitely got clear on own and ready to love. And, you know, we'll see next season three. Mm. <laughs> if they come back to Atlanta, God help us. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see you next time.